last week I did a live and I'm doing a live on a Wednesday night with my man, Rich Dollars. And on this live, you know, this is, it's not what I do on Monday nights. On Monday nights, I do motivation. I mean, y'all know I'm a motivational speaker. I'm out here trying to encourage and inspire and educate and bring light into the world. But on Wednesdays with my man, Rich Dollars, we just kind of have fun and we give, you know, relationship advice from a man's point of view. And it's something we started just doing on a humble, but we got so much crazy feedback. We was like, yo, let's just come back every Wednesday. We're going to do it. So last Wednesday in particular, I don't even know how it came up, but this, um, you know, the topic came up about men and women relationships, how to keep a man, how to get a man, how to keep a girl, how to get a girl. And I was saying, you know, once you get your man, and I'm speaking from a man's point of view, a woman can speak from a woman's point of view, but I'm a man. And I, you know, I put out there, I said, like, yo, once you get a man, you know, you can't stop doing all of the things that you used to do before you got this man. So whatever it was that, you know, he was attracted to you about, keep it up. You know, and it ain't always got to do with looks, but you got to keep yourself up. You got to keep making sure that when he walk in the door, you give him something that's a reminder. That's just that thing to be like, yo, I got the best woman in the world at home and I'm happy and I'm staying put right where I'm at. So when we got done with the IG live, you know, I go and I'm talking to my girls. We recapping. And she was like, yo, Sean, a lot of people didn't like what you said. And I'm like, what, what, what part of it? Because I'm just giving some, some regular advice. I ain't trying to, you know, hit nobody below the belt or say nothing that's outlandish. And she was like, yo, remember when you said that part, like, you know, you compared it to business. You was talking about, uh, you know, success. It's rented, not bought. And the rent is due every day. And that same thing applies in relationships and she was like girls in the comments would tear me a new one they was like yo who are you at what point do i get to just put my feet up at what point do i get to just chill at what point don't i have to worry about my man going in the street and cheating and doing all of them things that you know we hear about men doing men and dogs this that and the third like when can i just take a rest and I was like, word? Like, they was eating me up like that? And she was like, yeah. I was like, who? She was like, it wasn't just one person. It was a ton of them. And I'm like, oh, now, the 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 side is showing that, you know, I do IG Live, and I'm just happy to be on here with y'all. I, I get positive energy all the time. So I ain't used to a bunch of trolls coming at me. So that part of me was like, oh, word? Like, like this is how it's going to be now? that we talking a little relationship advice. And then the other part of me was like, I just, I wish that I had read those comments in real time because I wanted to double down and give it to them a little harder. But it made me start thinking, you know, as I was thinking about the comments and I'm thinking about what the people were saying, I started thinking about a conversation I was having a week before that. My man, Conor McGregor, I'm a big UFC fan. Conor McGregor fought the week before. And Conor McGregor, this guy's a killer or was a killer. He's box office, international. He's the richest fighter ever to step in the octagon in the UFC. But Conor McGregor ain't been the same Conor McGregor since he fought Floyd Mayweather and got that bag. Conor McGregor ain't been the same Conor McGregor since he went from obscurity to being the number one name in mixed martial arts. And I was telling somebody, Conor, he got all of the skills. He has everything that he needs. He went from the bottom to the top of the game. This dude made $100 million in one night. But success, it weakened him. Connor, he wasn't beat last week by Dustin Poirier. Victory defeated him. And I started to go back to some of those women who was in the comments. And I started to think like, yo, now I get it. 
Because there's a lesson in everything. You know, God, every time that I go through any little thing, I start to think, what is it that I can learn from this? What is it can I extract? And I started to think about those comments after I got pissed. And I was like, yo, I get it. This is not about relationships. This ain't just about business. It's about life. And to them comments specifically, once you get your man, what makes you think you can stop wearing the makeup? What makes you think you can stop putting the heels on? What makes you think you can stop doing all of the things that he loved about you in the beginning? This is a marathon. It ain't a sprint. And the same thing go for men. And I'm sure them same girls that was eating me up are the ones complaining that, yo, my man takes me for granted. My man don't do nearly the things that he used to do before he got me. Back in the days, he'd be on the phone with me all day and all night. He was taking me to dinner. We was eating out. He was spending money on me. And now that he got me, he got his feet up. But it's the same thing just like in business. Success. Once you hit that goal, success is the thing that weakens most people. When you finally achieve that goal, big or small, business or personal, it's victory that defeats most people. Once you get that prize, People take it for granted. People think I can put my feet up and chill now. And it don't work like that. There's a reason why when you hear names like Jordan, when you hear names like Kobe, LeBron, Serena, those are champions. Those are bona fide champions. But one ain't enough. They show up every day. And whereas in their case, when they got that championship, it fueled them. When they got that second championship, it fueled them. I want another one. It made them more hungrier. They understood there is no end to this thing. I want more. But most people, when they get it, no matter how big or how small that goal is, they got their feet up. I can't tell you how many artists I work with was hungry in the beginning until they got that hit record. I can't tell you how many artists I work with that said I want it. I want to be the next Jay-Z. I want to be the next Drake. As soon as they got one record popping on the radio, they thought they reached the finish line. Success. That's what weakened them. It was victory that defeated them. It was not the fact that they didn't have the talent. They can write a hit record all day, every day. It wasn't the fact that they couldn't do it again. They just didn't have the stamina to do it again because they thought that they already made it to the finish line. And what I'm telling y'all, it ain't no finish line. If y'all are in this game called life, life it is an endurance sport like nothing I've ever seen before. It's never going to stop. It's never going to let up on you. It's never going to take the foot off your neck. So if you in this thing and you're trying to take your career to the next level, if you're trying to get rich, if you're trying to build that business, if you're trying to move up in that company, understand it's never over. You don't just get to the next level and decide, I can chill now. Jay-Z, he started out as a rapper. A rapper. But that wasn't enough. Then went into a power with Rockaware. Now he's leading the industry in sports management, in sports management with Rock Nation. Diddy. This is a man I work with closely for the better part of my life. Records wasn't enough. Fashion wasn't enough. Alcohol wasn't enough. Politics.
politics, TV, it's never enough. But if you are trying to win at this game called life, you can't be weakened by success. You can't be. You can't allow victory to defeat you. You can never put your feet up, ever. Life, it's just too difficult, y'all. And you don't never know, ever, when the world is going to change. Once upon a time, who would have ever thought companies like Verizon, companies like Cablevision, Dish Network, if you wanted to watch TV, you had to go through them. In the last five years, the whole world's been cutting the cord. They got so caught up in sticking people up, taking the money month after month that they never took time to innovate and understand that the world was changing right before their eyes. Roku, Fire Sticks, all of them done slid right in. The whole world now is cutting the cord and streaming. You can't put your foot up, y'all. It don't work like that. Don't let success weaken you. Don't be defeated by victory. You just can't allow yourself to be. I love to see people like Jeff Bezos makes an announcement two months ago. I'm going to be the first person to go into space as a billionaire. This man has enough money in his bank account today to give every living human being on planet Earth half a million dollars. And he'd still be rich. But the minute he made that announcement, my man Richard Branson, Virgin Galactica, he said, oh, no, you won't. It ain't never over. I understand that I got Virgin Airlines. I understand I got Virgin Cola. I understand I got Virgin everything. But I'm also going to be the first person who's a billionaire to go into space. It never ends, y'all. It never ends. And that's what I need y'all to understand. No matter what it is that you're working on, it does not matter. You can't take your foot off the brake. You can't take for granted that things won't change. My sister called me a week ago today, right after our last live, and she couldn't get through. And she's hit me because she knew I just got off a live. And she thought I just wasn't answering the phone. But an hour later, I call her back. And I'm like, yo, Nick, what up? And she was like, what was you doing? I'm huffing and puffing. She was like, you was running? And I was like, yeah. She was like, you still run? And I'm like, Nicole, don't you know who your brother is? Years ago when that doctor told me, Sean, you got high cholesterol. And I made a decision to change my health. I understood that this was for a lifetime. And that's the problem. Some of y'all are committed to the goal. And you're not committed to the fact that it is a lifestyle change. When you're going after the success, that's a lifestyle change. That's not just a goal. You can't just say, hey, I'm going to go and get my degree. And once you get that degree, you don't never open a book. You can't just say, and this is why I hate when people talk about dieting, because dieting has an end, but you have to change that language. I'm changing everything about me. This is a lifestyle change. You dieting, you lose 10 pounds, you lose 20 pounds, you lose however much weight, and then as soon as you lose the weight, you got your feet up, you're happy, you're celebrating. And that weight comes on times two. Not because you didn't have the discipline to lose it in the first place, but because success, it weakened you. Can't you see that? You got beat up by your own success. Victory is what defeated you. So while some of y'all are out here and you're talking about your haters, you're talking about your ops. You're talking about jealous people. You're talking about people trying to hold you down. 
You ain't got to look no further but that person in the mirror because that person in the mirror stopped going hard. That person in the mirror hit a goal and said, I did it. Now I can chill. This is a lifestyle. This ain't about goals, y'all. So if you're on the road to success, whatever that means to you, there is no end. There's never an end. Once you hit one goal, you got to have three more in your line of sight. You can't be that one hit wonder. You can't be that person with the hottest record and you ain't never heard from him again. You can't be that person who got the job and as soon as they got that job, they start working hard. They got used to that check every other week. They got used to that direct deposit. Don't let that be you. Never, ever get weakened by your success. And never let victory defeat you. All right, y'all. As y'all can see, I'm sweating in this car, but it's all good. Just something I just wanted to share with my audience, for, with all my movies today. Not even my audience. Apologize on that. But real talk, y'all. Don't ever, ever, ever set your goals so low. Screw goals. Be committed to the lifestyle. It don't matter what it is that you're doing. This is a lifestyle change. This ain't about, because as soon as you hit a goal, you're going to put your feet up. So whether it is that you're trying to get healthy, you're trying to lose weight, whatever it is that you're working on, just know once I start it, once I commit to it, that's it. This is for life. Life is an endurance sport. And it ain't never, ever, ever going to end till your eyes is closed. So peace and love, y'all. Don't let success weaken you. And don't ever be defeated by your own victory.